Platinum Terrans is usually, they, like, you see the split of particularly, like, high bronze, low yes, plat yes, players. Just as I deserve. It's like I'm addicted to sending and shitty replays. Oh, exciting. You have the high bronze, low plat players who are like, well, I both know how to turtle and get upgrades, so I made it to platinum. And our players who are like, well, I'm eventually going to need a depot, so why not fucking waste my money now? Um, but, Orbital, he's got an expand, so is this gonna, uh, no, no, where are you going? And he's still got a third, so. Okay, so I like this. He took a very quick third, so better play it safe and build on the high ground, because you never know how many drones he can build. He literally doesn't have a pool. If you had scouted for relevant information, you would have known that. But what's the point of scouting if you're not going to use the information? It's like, because it says on the guides that I'm supposed to scout. Well, you should have probably listened for like 12 more seconds to figure out what that means. Hey, did he, he did have a pool. I lied. He has a pool. Still, wrong move. If, if your opponent gets three hatches before three minutes, you can be pretty goddamn confident that they, they can't mount a serious attack on your expansion on the low ground. But once again, whatever, as long as most of it makes sense. At this point, as long as we're getting orbital commands and production facilities and not supply blocked or tunnel vision for like 50 seconds straight in the first five minutes, it's already a win. Why is that a reactor? Okay, so a lot of people... Is this like some actual build? I've seen this. Is this like an actual? I'm not a big fan. I know that it, it's good. It's an actual build. That's a good thing. Okay. But the the problem with this is it leaves you with so few production facilities that you can do the build, and sometimes players just won't have any units, and you'll win the game. But the most important part. It is not this part, it's the follow-up. Because again, eventually you'll get to players who build any amount of units. Yeah, this is a pretty dangerous drop. It's a good timing. Okay, all right. It's looking good. We'll make it. I would not mind's not gonna, oh wow, pro gamer. Okay, so looking surprisingly good here. Focusing on upgrades. I'm impressed. We have managed to make it to six minutes without getting completely off track. Okay. Stem. And now the supply block begins. But still, up by 24 supply, so... Go. All right. Combat shield. Plus one. Like, the Zerg doesn't even have speed yet. When a Zerg is getting Zergling speed and Baneling speed at the same time, that's what I expect to see from Platinum. Okay. What? That mineral cluster's mined out. Ready for I appreciate the focus on macro over micro, but like... I feel, okay, I feel like that Widow Mine is creating more trouble than it's worth. Because the chances of the Widow Mine getting a big hit aren't that high. And the amount of time it takes you to, like, I need to, I mean, Widow Mine, Widow Mine. Uh. I say this and now, yeah, it's just gonna like, I lied, big hit, okay. But there's a focus on macro, and more shit counters less shit. Yeah, it looks like you followed Pig's build relatively well. Getting the production up is more important than the early build. The production timing is what gives you, say, a 43 supply lead in the mid game. Because your opponent is also a platinum leaguer, so he won't be spending his money. If you do spend your money, eventually you will no longer be a platinum leaguer. Ready for 
Okay, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. We just gotta just build more units. You are literally up by 60 supply. It's almost 70 supply as a Terran. Like, that is an in incredible advantage. No, you're allowed to send your other units with you as well, by the way. Like, uh-oh. I see where we're going. So, a lot of people don't know this, but the floor is not lava. Uh, you are allowed to take all of your units, your tanks, and your liberators, and attack all at the same time. You don't have to split off little bite-sized morsels like one medevac, two medevac, three medevac for an entree. Uh, you, you just, all you gotta do, just take, take your units and also try to hold off stimming 30 marines to kill an overlord. Just try, try that. Uh, might I point out? Okay, one, you forgot two, two. But that's okay. Most diamond players don't get 2-2 two, two until they lose their entire army. Everybody knows that. Uh, you're up by 60 supply, of which most of it is army. 70 army supply. If you a move... Okay, let's just... I'm just... I don't know what happens from here. But let's see his army. His army is... Well, he's going to have a lot more banes here. I will give him that. He's got like a dozen hydras, a dozen banelings. You've got 70 marines and eight tanks. You're not maxed out. But if you max out without attacking, you have given, like, you've built up this whole advantage. So here's essentially what you're doing. I, I actually, this is a good teaching. I will give you credit. We actually get to fucking learn something. And I don't know, you might actually. So here's the situation. Here's you. You built up. You've gotten to 200 supply. And there's not much more to do from here. But you're like right here. Right now. And then the Zerg. The Zerg. You hit him. So he had to slow down. And now that's where he is. But at some point. With Banelings especially. So. In fact, it's much more drastic than that, really. It's really more like... Or, you know, I could... Or, I'm, I'm actually just gonna show you one thing. Let's show you one thing here. I have a much more visual representation. Uh, you don't even need this. Alright. Why don't we just bring up SC2 replay stats? Don't trust me. Trust SC2 replay stats, which literally has the same graph. Also, if we look very closely... Hmm. Hmm. Notice anything? No, notice anything in particular? Maybe some red lines. Hmm. I wonder what those are. I mean, we all knew that something terrible was going to happen. He just rolled 30 banelings into your orbital and didn't kill it. You missed it. So what you need to ri do right now is go fucking kill him. No, not siege up, not continually be supply blocked for the last 5 minutes at 181 supply. Go fucking kill him. Okay. You let him get to... You could have done this at 180 to 120. Now we're at 197 to 160, but still. Get to 200 supply and go kill him. And also don't forget 2-2. Two, two. Like, I try to... I, I really try, and it's super hard. I try to come up with, like things that aren't just saying things on the nose because I can be like don't forget 2-2 two, two. but on paper everybody knows that but in practice almost no one does it 
Like, you just didn't fucking get 2-2 two -two for four minutes, five minutes. Oh, you were supply blocked for two minutes. What do you want me to do? I have, like, what, do you need me to tell you? Is that why I'm here to tell you what you already know? Keep paying me, because, like, don't forget your upgrades for four minutes. How, how do I deal with, don't forget your upgrades for four minutes. That is the that is more than the amount of time it takes to get two two and half a three three. Don't be a bitch. All right. Don't feel like oh now that I'm finally maxed out because I was supply blocked for three minutes, I can attack with all my units in a in a clump to die to banelings and unsiege all my tanks at the exact same time. Okay, there we go. Now we're leapfrogging. Like, you have given him such a window. I remind you, you were up by 70 supply, and now you're up, you're down by 6. You had about 3 to 4 minutes where you could have just killed him. You could have A-moved. Right click would have been bad. You could have A-moved your marines, lost 60 to 80% of them to banelings, and still won the game through sheer numbers. That is the dream. Okay, what is the difference between a gold Terran and a diamond Terran and a Grand Master Terran? The difference is not that they micro their Marines better. It's that they have enough Marines they can lose them all to mainlings and lose them all to storm or lose them all to siege tanks, but still have enough to win the game. It's not about how many men die. It's about how many you have to replace them. And you got 5,000, you got another 100 marines in the bank. Let's fucking go. Do I need to scout? How do you find out you're up that much in game? No, you don't need to scout. You need to get to 200 supply as quick as possible and attack. You get to care about your opponent later. All right, you're in platinum right now. By far, your greatest opponent is yourself. You don't need to scout jack shit. In fact, scouting... I'm not saying that scouting is bad, but I'm saying that since you don't know what to do with it, you should scout your supply count and see if it's it's equal to your supply and build some fucking depots. That's what you should do. And then, go kill him! What a beautiful flank. Caught between a tank and a hard plate. Why did you unseed all your tanks? Doesn't matter. Terran. Okay, so despite your best efforts here, you won the fight. So congratulations on that. You are literally you are living up to that A move, Terran. Alright, I, I will give you credit. He is not living up to a move anything. Like, you see, you could have done this, and he wouldn't have even had ultras earlier. But sure, fine. Three three is a distant dream. Look at the supply. One hundred and fifty two to one hundred and eight. Now you can't see that in game. But what you can see is that you just want to fight and killed all his units. So that's the relevant info here. How do I lose this game? What the fuck? Yeah, you're starting to realize why I charge 15 bucks for these replays now. Because it's it's not about my expertise, it's literally just my fucking time. Okay. So, you are you are back to a 70 supply lead. Oh, by the way, thanks for spoiling it. You lose the game somehow. I'm, I'm excited to find out how you pull that one off. Ah, uh, ultras that aren't right-clicked, maybe. Oh, no, we're microwing. Okay. It's like, how, well, how am I supposed to kill ultras? They're so strong. Now we're finally back to actually producing. Still 70 supply lead, by the way. Let's just take a look. 
The Zerg doesn't, he doesn't have that much going for him. You've actually done a whole lot of damage. 3-3, three, three, just in time. Yeah, this is the problem. So here, here, I want you to envision what you do after losing a fight, okay? And no, don't, don't, don't envision it. Let me tell you, because nobody is self-aware enough. What happens after a Terran loses a fight? There are three options. It's one, they do one, two, three of them. One is go back and get everything they should have had. It's like, oh yeah, upgrades and all these add-ons and another base. Two is tech switch. Uh, it's like, well, I guess my ground units aren't working. I need to go mech or bio or whatever I wasn't doing. And three is try way too hard. It's like, if I just micro these two liberators well enough, then I, I if I just siege, unsiege, siege, okay, right here, 6,000 minerals. No, 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 these two liberators, though. Like, So it looks like we've got just the one, and that's the only productive one is get off. Now, now here's what I want you to do. Instead of losing or, or getting driven off a fight and then doing that, just do it before the fight. Just be like, huh, if I happen to lose this fight, what will I need afterwards? How crazy is that? Like, you could just do it before instead of afterwards. By the up by 80 supply. Maxed out Terran army again. The macro is pretty good. I will give you that. Like, you did the build well. You followed it up decently. You built a lot of units. You forgot upgrades. That's a big one, but... You're even using, like, multiple control... I don't even do this. I don't even individually hotkey my tanks and liberators. I just put them all in the same hotkey, and I just click around a bunch. Obviously, you're more of a planning than practice guy. Oh, after the oh, no. Maxed out. Yeah, maybe probably should have cleared the creep. Oh, that's how you lose. Maybe you should have cleared the creep before he did a massive flank. You tried. Now, here's the thing. Despite all that, the Liberators mostly live. Uh, you don't want to lose your entire, like... So, yeah. That was obviously terrible. Don't worry, you're still winning. I, now here's the part. And this is how you lose. This, if you're special, or you're like Grandmaster, this is the right call. Like, you do some drops and keep them busy while you macro. The problem here is you're going to do some drops or macro. Prove me wrong. Let's see what happens. Alright, we're building, we're building. That That's good, Matt. Like, you're back up to 174. And, okay. You know what? Not, well, that's a sick production tab we got going on there. And you just lost the medevacs, because, like, why were those medevacs? What was going to make, if he, if he cleared your entire army, if he beat your entire army, what are two medevacs in the same location going to do two minutes later? What are, what are those going to accomplish that your whole goddamn army could not? It's like, well, now I feel like I'm doing something. What you're doing is lowering your chances of winning the game. Should I have so sent them somewhere else or just not at all? You should have sent your brain, your, your fingers onto the keys that hit your production. Max out again, because despite your best efforts, you keep trading well enough. You keep winning fights and macroing better. Look at his, look at his bank. You're spending your money. You're ahead in supply. Well, now he's making five Ultralisk, so. You need to like, what? Okay, first, why? It's like, well, I need to catch up. No, this is the part where you scan. Not, not after he's attacking. This is the part where you scan. Oh my God. Just gun down an entire wave of Hydras. Jesus Christ. 
and like this is a whole lot of like you're 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 getting you're getting all the right things and putting them in mostly the right places but somehow you you're you're reaching you're digging deep and if you dig deep enough you can you can dig out failure from this resounding success like somehow you you didn't throw away enough units and you survived till 3-3 okay by the way you know you're allowed to take a fourth base but thankfully you're Terran your fucking buildings can fly how how beautiful is that right now you have more army supply this is some Wings of Liberty Terran right here with a few Liberators that are probably going to make all the difference. Okay, this is when you scan. He has a dozen Creep Tumors, half a dozen Creep Tumors around you. You don't scan as the army comes in like, oh shit, I'm on Creep, aren't I? You scan now. Now. Or actually a better option would have been before this, but if you scan, like... Yes, yes, yes. Just as I deserve. That's a $30 replay with no description, so I feel like it's going to be... <sighs> you scan now. Now. Somehow you haven't lost everything to Banelings before. Do you even know what the minimap is? Is he base trading? Our base is under hey, lay off my SCV. No, he's on... You're on creep. Oh my god. You know... Okay, I guess we've given up on defending our base. Jesus Christ. That is a Venn diagram of freedom right there. Scan? Like, you keep scanning the only time when you don't scan for creep. The only times you do scan for creep are when it doesn't matter here. That's what we're seeing. Like, if you didn't have creep here, there'd be no... What? You just lost all of your SCVs. For, like... Jesus Christ. You still win the fight. Oh my god. It's not like you were mining anyways. Okay, so we still got... You saw a whole bunch of drones and lings run by from this base. You, they were... This wasn't even on the fucking minimap. It was right in front of you. You saw them. You saw units coming from, not like one unit out of the corner of your eye. They were running right by you. How do you, like... Somehow, well, we're down to 16 SCVs, which means the army supply. It's not like there was any mineral mining to be had anyway, so... Everybody, everybody, every single... This is the time when you send out the Liberators. By the way, if you want a time to send out those liberators. Now is the time. Now is the time when you have literally no mining, zero income. That is when you send out those individual liberators, not when you send back 10 liberators to deal with 14 zerglings. And then you clear it and tap out of the fucking gate. What the fuck? What? No, there's still two minutes in this game. Come fucking kill me. No, you go fucking kill him, you goddamn idiot. You bitch. All right. He, his anti-air is eight queens and seven hydras. You got, you've got an entire aircraft carrier of arsenal here. You could be sieging up each of his mining bases with five liberators, and you're like, come fucking kill me. It's like, well, why don't you just get started on that yourself? Because I... <clears throat> you, up until that point, are winning your game. Like, you're winning... You're still, I'd argue, winning the game here. You are in a, you are in a potentially winning position. Your buildings can fly... You got mules, you could deny all of his mining, he doesn't have a spire, you're still in a potentially winning position. I'm glad you didn't remember your replay that you sent in, because now we get a great idea of your ladder strategies.
you know how you win? You attack your opponent. That's how you do it. All right? That's how you do it. Uh, if you if you sit there and complain, I wonder how many of those games you actually won. You almost kill me. He is right. He's get like You've got all the makings of a salty diamond Terran. Like, this is why... Because you're sunny then, you're like, despite all this, obviously you're still motivated to play. And I'm confident. I'll give you your hope score right now. It's a B-. minus. It would be a B plus if we didn't have this whole exchange. But you, you obviously don't mean most of what you're saying here. It's just frustrating. But you will get to Diamond, because that was some relatively solid macro. A good opener. But, uh, like... I'm getting secondhand high cholesterol from this at, at this point. Like, I'm gonna need my blood pressure checked. I, and I'm not even in the game. I'm just watching. But this is why, because most of those salty diamond Terrans, they made it through this phase, but didn't learn anything. Yeah, this is, uh... This is perfect. I will bring that up. That is actually incredibly descriptive. From casually explained. What's um a description of, of why I think Terran players are like this. And it is like it's it is pretty specific to Terran. Other races have it, but it's not it's it's more like an oddity than uh, a, a rule, but for its Aaron, it seems to be the default. Um, and I say this, I, I'm, I'm one-third Terran. Some of my best friends are Terran. But guess what? Go check out Casually Explains intro video. Yep. I think we're... Uh... That, that sums it up. I thought I was going to kill you. Up until right about now, you still could have. It's too late. If you hadn't spent so much time lamenting your situation, then uh, you still had a chance. Also, by the way, you can't lose 50 SCVs to Zerglings over the course of a minute and a half without ever looking at your base. There's that. He's right, like, your opponent is right. Not that you wanted that advice from him, you wanted to pay me 15 bucks for the same advice. Hey, did you actually come around? I can't, I can't tell if you came around at the end. But that... It was a B plus up until the last two minutes. I'm gonna quote you. I'm gonna quote you before you knew how this game ended. How did I fucking lose this game, Jesus Christ? That's a direct quote. Uh, and that was about 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes in the game. Uh, so, hopefully you can answer that question, because I'm still at a bit of a loss. Also, uh... Maybe, maybe get the low sodium soy sauce next time. Thank you. B minus. Honestly, if so, if the Zerg didn't have the courage, like if Zerg had the same level of courage that you did, or even slightly more than you did, he would have tapped out after the Liberators killed everything. Like, there were like two or three fights that he was in a similar position to where you were. And he just didn't leave. But, you get into that slightly losing position, it's like, well, I guess this game fucking sucks! It's the game! Alright! It's not, it's the game! Alright! 
I don't know. I, you're doing this every time. I don't know why, but it's the. Gold Protoss. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We gotta check the wheel. Oh, I'm, I must. We gotta check the wheel. The wheel is correct. Yes, we do have a Gold Protoss coming up next. How did it know? This is not the $30 replay. The $30 replay is after that. So I'm interested to see what that is. Because that implies accepting... I'm accepting more replays. I will take your money. No guarantees on, on how far I get. So we have a gold Protoss. I say bronze, silver, gold for the most part. It's not usually worth it to send in because it's marginally better than, like, I think there's still so much to learn by just playing and watching very basic guides as opposed to personalized advice. But at least we're not walling off the high ground, so we'll start. Well, that's a start. Great content, keep it up. Thank you, Dubis and Masenko. Always love watching. Okay, he's got a spawning pool. So, you scouted as a gold protoss. Thanks for last attack. How you doing? This is a this is a catalyzing moment. Why? Because just because you scouted doesn't mean. There's almost never a proportional response. Um, it's rare. Like, if you see a spawning pool, it's like, oh, I guess I need a forge and four cannons. It's like, well, that's actually just a normal hatch first. Or, okay, and go about your business ignoring the fact that they did anything. Let's find out. What are you doing, microwing? This is the correct, like, this is the build. This is a build. Like, we're on track, down to the supply. The Zealot is unnecessary, and it delays your pylon. Because by the time, okay, well, we made it, you know what, making it this far is easily plat. Like, build execution, solidly, you know what, I'll say, I'll say diamond. Surface. I'll say diamond. Solid diamond. Because a lot of diamond players still struggle to figure out how to wall it. No. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I thought we were going to have a measured response. Fuck it. Shield batteries. Is that a wall? Like, you, you tested it. That's a wall. Like, now you can't get out of your base. It's like, well, taking two bases was already a big step for me. Don't even try to make me take three. That's what warp prisms are for, Winter. No, I still say this is a diamond level opener. He's building probes. And the shield batteries aren't the worst. If those had been pylons, it would have been terrible. But at least they're shield batteries, which is pretending like we're protecting something. Yeah, if he gets blink, no, if this is blink, okay, well then it's over. GG. Is this like a DT drop build? What's the twilight for? Does anybody, does anybody know? 
It's an aesthetically pleasing Twilight Council, all right? We must convene the council to discuss what to do next. Fine, charge, fine. Scout with observers. Oh, you are not He's got a lair. Nobody will build probes during this because it'd be too difficult. Both sides are gonna scout each other like, you know, this is, we'll just throw in cause, cause angry coach is not uh, like a sniper rifle laser targeting your problems. It's more like a, a, a blunderbuss shotgun that anyone close or even remotely in range is going to be hit by something. So guess what? This Zerg player definitely has much bigger problems than whatever the fuck the Protoss is doing. And this is a very, very common issue with Zergs. Uh, though usually they get to plat before it becomes one. He is, he is meticulously scouting with his Overseer and has 1,750 minerals at five minutes in the game. Which is impressive. He did build a lot of drones. I'll give him credit. Oh, no. The Bronze League Cannon. Okay, so let's just... Just answer me this. Why? Why are we putting a cannon there? I don't know how many people even know what a blunderbuss is anymore. Have you not played World of Warcraft? It's for cloaked manchies. Did you see the nidus? There, there isn't a nidus, right? Yeah, you didn't see jack shit. You're out of supply. Make more pylon. Whatever. One cannon is it like one. Uh, you know, shield batteries don't. Oh my god! Like, what? I, what? <laughs> like until the that immortal and stalker slim down. I like how the attack, you wanted to move out, but it's like, guess we can't move out till we get the warp prism. Wait, what? What am I watching? Oh my god, please still be a wall. Aww. Okay. Okay, so you have five gates, which is approximately five eighths of the amount of gates that you should have on two bases to do an attack. So, almost there. I like how you're just sitting out on the map, waiting for the Archons. Completely vulnerable. If you were gonna wait for the Archons, okay. Two options. One, why aren't you waiting? Two, why did you go? Looks like we're gonna have the worst of both worlds, which is, fuck it, YOLO and maybe lose all your units before any useful units show up. It's all gonna come together magically. Welcome to Protoss. Might I reiterate? Thank you, Casually Explained, for your visual aids, for my visual aids. Thank you, Rising Phoenix, for 17 months. You know, uh, you got Immortals and Archons. We all know that... I I'm just going to reiterate my biggest tip. My biggest tip. StarCraft, contrary to popular belief, is actually a real-time strategy game and not a turn-based strategy game. Which means, even if you're taking your micro turn, you can also take a macro turn very soon after. You don't have to wait 30 seconds or more. I know. It sounds crazy, but... Archons are real good units. They're not good enough, but they're damn close. I like how everything died and you didn't pick it up, so you're like, ah, fuck it, throw them in. Uh, oh, was that? Was that what turned the tides for the Zerg? He's like, wow, he must know something I don't. I don't. <laughs> Those immortals going absolutely ham. 
I I love the. Oh, what a micro god! Okay. I I I feel like your confidence, which you had not because of knowledge, but because well. Like, the confident- the way you just kept attacking with no units, I feel like that actually intimidated him. He's like, whoa. <laughs> they're still going, I gotta... And, and we all know a third base. Third base will only be taken in the most dire of circumstances. Even though you've had enough money for a third base for the last five- Let's see, wait, 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 I wanna go back. How long have we had enough money for a third base? No, 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 okay, all right, okay, so, uh, oh, you spent, spent the money, we'll say, we'll say six minutes, will we get under it, oh, oh, okay, okay, 6.15, Let's just... For four minutes, four whole minutes, you had enough money in the bank to build a third base. You just didn't. That's it. That's it. Like, but how do I macro better? It's not like this was the sharpest timing. This was the equivalent of a mace. Okay, a lot of blunt force, but not very sharp. Oh, oh, there's a base here, too. It worked out. And it will. You'll get to platinum. And you can use this build in every matchup. All right, let's, let's, dis let's dispel with the idea it takes any specific matchup build order to get to platinum. Aim on us. As a goal. Though, yeah. Easily. You play another couple dozen games and actually focus on, on the build-up and not distracting yourself. You'll get to plat. Then again. I mean, that's more than gold. That's all that matters. So, but, like, instead of just five gates, don't be like, five gates... And then, oh, I guess I need more gates. No, yes, you yes, need eight. Yes. Diamond three I league deserve. disasters. Diamond three league disasters. You need eight. I don't you need really eight know eight. how to deal with high tech. I kind of turtled after my initial build and left. Was that like a up. question or was there Towards a replay? The end of the Classic. Game, I saw I was ahead in army supply, Angry but I didn't know what to do oh in real God. time. Oh my God! Shut. Did I not send it? I mean, you sent an essay, but you did not send a replay. Drops V3. Are you in chat? Oh, eh, wait, wait, wait. We got to spin the wheel. What could it be? What do you guys think? No, wrong. Mm. Correct. It is a diamond Terran. How did you know? First try.
I mean, it was out of the only three options. Let's let's give it that. Yes, yes, yes. Just oh, as that's I the deserve. that's the Here's five more critical ball. thinking tax. This is the thirty dollar EFA. But first, uh, since that's not enough, uh, just a quick ad. If you guys could pause ad block, that'd be awesome. Um, just a couple minutes. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Winter, and I'm here to talk to you about Twitch Prime. Did you know that with Twitch Prime, you can connect your Amazon Prime account, and not even yours, your grandmas, your lizard, your dogs, whoever has it, find it, get that information, and connect it with Twitch. You might be like, well, I don't want Twitch to have all my information. Well, guess what? Fuck you. They're owned by Amazon. They already know. Don't worry about it. Connect it with Twitch and get Twitch Prime. Go to twitch.tv slash prime. And they, uh, twitch.tv slash prime gives you all these exciting benefits for all these games that you don't care about. Like, like what loot can we get this month? Uh, you can get a penthouse. In GTA Online, you can get a sniper rifle. In Red Dead Redemption, you can get skins that definitely make you stand out in the Apex Legends, which, uh, that's, I'm sure that's a good thing for some reason. Uh, League of Legends bullshit, you got RuneScape, um, you got some Weeb RPGs, you got Nintendo Switch membership, that actually might be good. Um, you got some Warface is still going, you got some Dungeon Hunter, I have no idea what that, Call of Duty blops, Call of Duty 2018. Um... And also, did you know that you can subscribe for free to a, a Twitch channel of your choice every single month for free? So, if you don't subscribe today, if you don't subscribe right now, up there, down there, tap it. Like, pour some water out of your smart refrigerator. I don't know what you need to do, but if you don't do it as soon as possible, you're losing money. Don't lose money today. Gain money by subscribing for me. Thank you. Good luck. Have fun. Have an amazing day. Subscribe. Thank, thank you for sticking around. Thank you, Air Air Zik. What is going to be the biggest issue for this diamond tearing up again, Zerg? Uh, be right back. One moment. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Take your guess.
Okay. Trying too hard. That wasn't just a meme. Trying too hard is when you're like individually microwing marines yes, in and yes, out of yes. medevacs. Just as I you deserve. You got. Don't you hate it when your bird cries for food like squab, 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 ruffle, squab, 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 ruffle, squab, 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 ruffle, squab, 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 ruffle, squab, squab, squab. Yeah, I do. Stutter step over stutter stepping, like trying to target fire banelings when you got 984 minerals. Well, 1,984 minerals more accurately. But we'll see. This is where this is where the salty Terrans are born. The ones who barely made it through plat despite their best efforts. Thank you, banana num. That's what we end up in diamond. But that's usually a pretty hard stop for most. Statistically. I guess most players don't make it past it. Um, now each tier of diamond is pretty Drops V I, I like you've got your own clan going on. Thank you, VX Reaper. I've got Artisan and Skelly after this right now, but we'll just just keep sending them in. We'll keep going until I want to stop. Well, probably one or two more. So we're not scouting. Well, okay, we are scouting. Wow, that's a whole lot of clicking going on there. That's fine, for now, as long as it doesn't actually take away from anything. I'm not sure, do we have Drops V3 here? I don't know if they're actually in the chat. It's fine to do APM spam as long as there's nothing else to be doing. That is a little tryhard, so for those of you who think that he's going to be a tryhard. Ooh. Looking good so far. Missing. Uh, actually, no, we're good. Got a little bit of ring around the add ons. Now, what we should be worried about in that scenario is whether he just ran the Zerglings across the map, which he very well could have done. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say. Um. I was gonna say. Well, I say up until Diamond 1, your Reaper is a photographer. Okay. They get in. They take a look, they take pictures, and then they get out. Because when you try to attack and micro the Reaper, guess what happens? And you guys are already right. He's already trying too hard because no Hellions are producing, no Orbital is building, no SCVs in production because we try to do any amount of Reaper micro. How late is it? Like, is it really that big a deal? It's, it's not. Let's just look how much idle time. Okay, 254 at landed. Yes, yes, yes. Just as I deserve. Pretty brutal loss of tanks after being ahead. Learning to add by 10 seconds. It takes 20 seconds to build a Hellion. Half a Hellion build time. Over a third of an orbital. That's almost an SCV. 10 seconds adds up when there's only been 180 seconds in the game so far. Is that off center? I don't think so. But there was no reason that Reaper needed to be micro, especially at the expense of anything else. But, and once, it's not a big deal, but it's a bad habit. The focus should be on getting everything else done and then finding time to micro the Reaper. And I, once again, I'm only saying this because there's going to be more important things later on that if you skip 10, 20 seconds, it's really going to hurt you. 10 seconds on Hellions is, is not much. 10, 15 seconds on upgrades could be big. On a third command center, adds up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
overall pretty okay. Looking for another CC. It's we're still on the rails. Okay, we're not off the rails. We're on the rails. We're we going mech. All right. Fine. I like mech. Even testing the wall. I'll give you credit for that. V side. Well, V side's a bit of a supply block. This is actually oh, pretty solid so far. You are now in my service. Thank you, Akamba. 32. Okay, so so you're going mech. You're building an armory. What is the best thing to do with your Hellions right before your armory finishes? But maybe I could have got it in and killed, killed 16 drones. Yeah, maybe. But you didn't. Overall, it's still pretty damn solid. And he had no preparation because he just... If he doesn't see a Banshee, he doesn't believe there will be a Banshee. You don't want to just lose the Banshee, but at least you... It's better to just lose it than have like a 3 HP Banshee you're microing. So overall, I'm going to give... This stage of the game, and I, I, I'm i usually too lazy to give out stage game, like, uh, on SC2 Replay Stats Training Center, it'll give you feedback on, on parts of the game, but, um, for the early game build, it's a solid A-, minus. like, you hit most of the points, no real supply blocks or slowdowns, this is, uh, this is, uh, that's a mess, but, overall, pretty solid. So let's look. Now this is this is a compliment and this is a good thing. We can actually look at what the Zerg is doing in comparison here because it wasn't enough of a disaster where I just have to keep repeating what the disaster parts were. So the Zerg, he doesn't even have a lair. He has no evolution chambers. He's got 47 drones and Roachling. So just to, just to talk about where the Zerg is, you are in an incredible spot. This is actually amazing. Like him having no upgrades and no tech and not any significant advantage in workers or bases. Like, you got four factories, armory is done, third base is up. This is great. Okay, like in in overall execution, it was good. In state of in this game. It's great. Yeah, and going for, like, you don't want to get... This is where you really want to make sure you just get your production up. Yeah, okay, you can put pressure on. You should be getting an upgrade, armor upgrade, ideally. Maybe blue flame as well. Armor upgrade? Uh, no, the upgrades, that's a mis... Like, you, you have the armor. Let's get, let's get an upgrade. What the? Okay, calm down with the depots, Jesus. Not not mech weapons, but armor. Cause are you relying on how much damage these units do or their abilities? Blue flame and the cyclone upgrade kind of negate the effectiveness. Like you just want those units to live. They already do enough damage. You get mech armor, and you're relying on a whole bunch of starport units, which do not benefit from the weapons. Good split that like a head on supply look look at it look at the zerg's minerals i mean i've got no complaints besides kind of like upgrades could be quicker micro could be cleaner but everything it's a good it's one of those covers on youtube you're like well i mean the original is better but at least this version is pretty okay they're not terrible <laughs> Yeah, keeping your money down. SCV production has fallen off a little bit. Thank you, thank you, Parting, for the host. 
Let's let's. We're gonna turn followers mode to one minute. We usually try to keep out the fuck boys, but I do like parting, so I'll make an exception. Thank you, parting, for that hope host. Hopefully, you had a good stream. And I feel like it, he, this is the part where parting's like, make sure to vote for me, GSL versus the world. I already voted for you, parting. So, go check out Team Liquid for the voting for GSL versus the world. You can vote for, well, really, right now, the only realistic options are parting instead. I remember this happening last year. Research. Okay, so how long is this game? How does this go on 10 more minutes? I mean, the Zerg may survive. But at this current rate, let, let's make it clear. You don't need to kill him. Like, at this stage, it's time to start making tanks. You get maybe 20, 30 supply, like 10 cyclones, and then tanks. The way you actually win the game... The way you actually win the game is is with tanks. Not with more star power. I mean, you can go like Liberator, but you get a dozen tanks and walk across the map and, and kill them. Battle cruisers are also fun. At this point, like this has just been very like at no point in this game has the Zerg player been anywhere remotely close to winning. Battle cruisers are fine too. Like when you have 87 to 59 workers, when you know how to spend your money, when you well the upgrades are pretty lacking to be honest. But as uh, Zerg is on three bases and you're a mech player on four, this should have been a planetary. Then you can build whatever the fuck you want. Uh, at this point, you could go Reapers and still might have a shot. Okay. I'm not sure. Like, I don't even know who sent this in. I haven't seen who sent this in. I, I'm wondering why it was sent in. And if there were any questions, because there was no commentary. Is this, like, another Diamond Terran who won the game and then leaves because they're too much of a bitch? Because that's the only thing that's going to make any sense here. Like, does one Broodlord show up and the whole game goes downhill, or...? Because, I mean... Liberate... Did we get Liberator range? No. But we got every base on the map. We got, well, you could do better than just plus two. Um, at this point, could have three, three, four ship and vehicle weapons. I don't know what uh, the Vendaya scan. Yeah, the upgrades are the only... Now we're getting there. 14 planetary fortresses. Okay, guys. There are three minutes left in this game. Is it possible? Three armories on the way, which you can't even use. You could just... Okay. Okay. I, I just want to know what, well, like, how this ends. One Broodlord shows up. Game over, man!
No one's ever been able to kill a Broodlord before. Uh, well, well, that's one way to do it. Nope, just a pretty solid win. I don't need... I don't get it. Like, you want, like, details on refining the build? Like, get upgrades quicker. Don't, uh, don't delay, uh, blue flame for no reason. Don't throw away early units for no reason. Just because you think you're gonna do damage, but, like... The mo the production was on time. The third base was on time. I spent money up until max, so... I don't, I don't get it. I don't... I still don't know whose it was. But, um... That's like, uh... It's an A-. minus. Even if it's like Diamond 1, like, that could have been Masters. Any ideas? Ooh, that looks sick. What are the depots for? Alright, we got Artisan, who's also a Diamond Terran. So guys, can I, can I show it, Avex? Wait, is this a- whatever happened to the summer one? This is what it is. Avex has reskinned the direct strike map. Field of fire. Mm -mm. Looking pretty hot. Yeah, that's pretty legit. I'm, I'm I want to know who sent in that replay so I can be specific. That last one. Artisan. Yeah, good thing you sent me an extra five on this shit. I, I see, I see the graph. I can read a graph. Jimmy. Jimmy. Thank you. Diamond Terran versus Zerg. Again. One moment. Mm -mm. I assume he won't fuck up anything in the first minute, because if he does, like, we shouldn't watch any of the rest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right. So far. Uh. Okay. Why are you building a bunker? Was that a pool first? You were right. Uh, smart move. Good move. Never mind. I wasn't paying any attention. The bunker is correct. I don't know about that positioning, but... have a, a reaper no don't 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 salvage okay whatever you got in the diamond you're like now I need to scout my opponent instead of not get supply box myself I don't understand the stim. I can almost justify it if you're like, well, I'm just getting stim for later. But you're literally going to finish stim with, like, four marines. Which kind of seems like a waste of gas. Like, okay, what happened between here and here that you're like this is where the depots go like you were so close to actually walling off with depots oh no this is where builds come to die down goes the liberator down go all the heli wait what oh god damn it you see if Diamond Zerg would learn to just make a sport crawler at like 4.30 at each of their bases, then we wouldn't let Terran players feel like they were actually good at the game. But no! Research complete. Like, this is where, this is the problem. Here's your problem. Just let's just stare. We're just gonna sit here and we're gonna watch. They're done. You have the money for one one at five minutes. We'll say five minutes. Additional supply. Research complete. Fifty seconds. That's almost half your upgrade. Like. You just didn't get it. You just you got these engineering bays like you're some sort of macro player, and you just didn't build the upgrades. Like you just can't. I usually have them hotkeyed. Well, you're better than me, but at least I remember them. Like you could have had a near full minute upgrade advantage. All you needed to do was click two buttons. You just didn't. That's it, like, you set yourself up. It's not like you could have built the NG base and then got the upgrade. No, you built the NG base. You just didn't get the upgrade. Like you had your cake, you just didn't eat it too. Because you were busy losing all your Hellions for no reason, that's why. Complete. Never forget. The, the classic, like, well, I don't see any Zerglings here, so maybe by the time I get there, there won't be any Zerglings, even though eight out of ten times, there are Zerglings! Maybe this time, though. Ready. 
Okay. Ah, yes, the classic two tank timing into instead of two tank timing, we're just gonna do a medevac drop. I'm pretty sure that's off center. This map has correct indicators, right? I'm clearing creep. Okay, let's go ahead. The armory just finished. So, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have enough money for both. Okay. Alright. You do have your NG base hotkey, by the way. I just want to point that out. Okay. Pretty good on the production. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Right on time. I don't have a trigger for them. Maybe your armory finishing? So, how long did we miss? Your armory... Now, the, the beauty of this is your armory was almost perfectly timed. In fact, I'd say that's perfectly timed. Your armory finishes at 7.48. So, you're already 50 seconds behind being generous on the first upgrade. So, 50 seconds. And now, armory finishes at 7.50. And we get upgrades at... That's another 40 seconds. You are now 90 seconds, a minute and a half behind. Which is longer than your plus two. That's not right. That's not how math works. Uh, but it's most of your plus two. <laughs> you could be two-thirds of the way through your 2-2 two -two instead of just starting it. And then, you would have... What sounds better? Now, let's let's just throw this around. What sounds better, a one upgrade advantage or a three upgrade advantage? Take some time, get back to me. Because there is a massive window for your Marines to just be way fucking better. But instead, instead of jumping through the wide open window, you're trying to wedge open a closed door right now with your fancy ass medevac drop. Ah, this is going to be one of those games where we're too much of a bitch to move out when we're winning. Yes. Here we go. Because, like, it, it's the opposite problem for most people. Most people think they can attack with their terrible armies, whereas... Okay. Let's just break down this thought process, blow by blow. All right. We're going to... I don't know. We're just going to send... I don't... Okay. Got to box all the medevacs. Okay. Gonna move to the front. Move to the front. Nicely done. Drop out. Oh, look. He has some banelings. All right. Okay. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Banelings coming back? No, I didn't see shit. Okay. Oh. Guess he has banelings. Nobody could have seen this coming. Okay. Somebody, get me out of this mess. So, you got 2 2 finishing up. Did you forget about that you had a first armory? You right now are going to have, despite, despite all the time you missed, you've got a 3. Okay, you're moving out. With your whole army. Okay. Are we going to send a marine out ahead? Okay. Good scan. Good scan. Now, now, okay. Let me... I'm going to... I'm going to propose something. You don't have to do it. Uh... But I'm going to propose something. What if instead of waiting until you're already on his creep to siege up your tanks, you did it before you walked onto his creep? You put all that work in to clear the creep. I know it sounds crazy, but... So instead of the army being on top of your marines before your tanks are sieged up... I know, I know. They wouldn't be. They wouldn't be.
despite how bad that was, you're still going to kill everything. Might I point out, you are now up by 50 supply. You could have been up by, uh, like, 90 supply, but you're up by 50, which is still pretty good. The fuck is this? Why are you leaving? Where are you going? What? Yes, At least yes. you started 3 3 this Just time. I How to win TVP? I'm sure it'll be about Terran versus Protoss and not, not about man versus self. Alright, there you go. You're up by 75 supply. Two upgrades. Tank positioning's good. How long is this game? <sighs> Fucking Terrans. And now we don't have any scans for this, do we? Okay, let's see what he has. Well, you've let him live. Oh, it's Ultralisks. Ah, of course. Away we go. Except we have the counter. Plus, plus one, one tanks. Versus, well... I mean, with a perfect surround, they will barely win. Might I point out, after this fight, you might feel like you just got crushed. You're ahead by 14 supply. Like, well, I don't know. I mean, more of the same with better upgrades and slightly better positioning. You're not going to get too much better, but. And also, if you had just gone and killed him well before this point, he wouldn't have had the time. So, this is a common, this is a specific to the Metal Leagues and Diamond. This is why I, like, I talk to, whenever we have our guest angry coaches on, or we have high-level players who are like, we'll just do this build, or this build, or this build. What they fail to understand is there are some things, there are concerns for the lower levels that are not concerns at the higher levels, like at, at Masters, or GM, or Pro. So, a lot of players are like, well, you just want to fight, which means you are in a winning position, you can win the game. What they neglect to consider is that in the Diamond League, more than half the time, the Zerg player is banking 4,000, 5,000, and can build 12 Ultralists. They just needed the inspiration. So that is a fair point. Uh, that doesn't happen when people can actually spend their money like competent players. And that is something to consider. I will give you that. Why did you decide... What? 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 Why? Why were you like, oh, I guess we're fighting? Why don't, why don't, instead of like, fighting, why don't you just... Go away? No, go back, go, go back. No, no? Oh, uh, don't worry. We lost that entire army so this one liberator could do some dank harass. And it, indeed it is. That Liberator gonna get a whole fuck ton of kills. It's racking them up. You know, it might have been worth it. <laughs> so now we're losing. Because you can't just lose your whole army. Multiple times. The upgrade advantage is slowly slipping. I guarantee you he'll give another opportunity. Alright, let's not... The nukes are gonna be... Like, this is on paper. At this point, on paper, this is the right army to have. Do we have... We technically do have ranged liberators. Gonna see actual snipes being used. Okay, so it was doing so well. Are we even gonna look at that base? Ah, but now. Now, though. 
Where are you going? Oh no. Oh no. I mean, it's tough here. He has the death ball. Okay, so you're at 168 supply. Your ghosts are out in front of everything for no fucking reason. All the tanks are unseaged, and the beauty of this is he was in sensor tower range the whole time. Like, how much time did we have to react here? We're returning fire. Mm. Yes, the ghosts are definitely the best unit to have out there sniping creep tumors. That's definitely a safe call. You know what? That was a, that was a pretty good reaction on the tanks. It's about as quick as you're gonna get. But there is no reason. He has a, like he had. Some good of ducks. This is surprisingly decent exchange here. You can build Vikings, by the way. You're allowed to build Vikings. At this point, it's kind of gone off the rails. It's gonna be hard. This is actually some of the best Ghost Micro I've seen, including my own games. Like, even, even though we lost a bunch, the fact that not everything is just running to its death is, uh, pretty good. Okay. So the answer, I mean, this is the army. You, you want to have, you want to max out. You don't want to just not be maxed out. You gotta, you gotta build more units, like that. You're not supply black. No, just build more units. Okay, okay. Stick with me. What if, what if, like, you just built units? I know, it seems crazy. It seems like at this point, the board is set, but, uh, it's not. You, you can still build more units. You can build, you can, like, you could be building, like, six more ghosts right now. Okay, he's doing, he's building units. You're not, you're not building any, okay, marines, but, like, marines, not ghosts. By the way. Okay. No, you can just build units. Here's a pro tip. I know. Okay, here's a tip. Uh, build units. And not like six marines. You, you, you are at, okay, so you have a hun 96 army supply, we'll say 100. You could have 145 army supply. You know what that would do? That would make it a little easier. Um... Okay, there you go. That was actually a great fight. Okay. Okay, we could build more units. I don't know why you're nuking that base. Okay, alright. Stick with me one more time. What if you built units? It's not like it killed the production. Like... And also, maybe, like, at least one medevac? Like, you're, you're building one unit at a time! What is this? Auto chess? I don't... Okay, there we go. The fuck was that? Excuse me, sir. I don't... Oh my god. This is, like... This is actually some surprisingly great control. I will, like, I I am not this patient. This was, like, this is actually some 
Well, besides the fact your main base is gone. Well, did you just EMP? I mean, this isn't bad. If you had at any point spent your money and had like another 10 ghosts or just some bio even. Okay. Somehow you're winning again because Liberator, like this is actually incredibly impressive. The patience. Now you shouldn't apply that same patience to your unit production. But the control of the ghost tanks and liberators has been very good. Oh my god. Got freedom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If like one or two of these liberators was on the other side of the map. How many liberators is that? 17. Okay, I'm sorry. Everybody, please stand. Please stand. Um, or, well, or at least... Jim, Jimmy, 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 turn off the fireworks. Uh, well, I guess this is where we live now. Okay. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I didn't even realize until now that I wasn't doing anything with production. I'll take your money to read the production tab along with you if you really want me to. Like, that's apparently what 90% of this is. It's like, oh, look, there's nothing there. Oh, now that you point it out, that's true. So, the fact that the creep is at your doorstep and you lost everything might make you feel like you're losing. And in fact... If I didn't see the uh, the gas count for your opponent, I would think you're losing too. But at least you moved out and attacked. I'll give you that. The Zerg was just not mining much gas. Because the bases were killed. This is all going to die to two parasitic bombs when he figures out what those are, I think. This is a very scary time to be a Terran. I will agree with that. Base you have as many SCVs as you started with. You got no mining. And this is all because we didn't actually build units earlier. Also, stim is dangerous. Oop. Okay. Yep, we figured out what parasitic bomb was. And, well. The thing is, there's not even the budget to repair these things now. I mean, unfortunately, there's there's no quick and easy fix there, especially since that was actually some very good late game control. But as always, it's better to have 15 pieces and control them pretty well than six pieces that you maneuver impeccably. It's it's a B. Like that felt like pretty like it well if you actually got upgrades on time you don't end up in that situation or or just lose your tanks for no reason multiple time like you forced yourself to have to fight that battle and that's not a battle any terran's going to want to fight the fact that you can is already impressive i got to give you credit for that but all right we got skelly who's we're back to it a platinum sir but You can't just not get upgrades, then be like, well... And then not build units, be like, well, this Zerg army is so tough to deal with when I have 40 less supply for absolutely no reason. 
All right, Platinum Zerg. The classic. Will he be in am Will be he have amnesia? Will he uh, try too hard? Will he select all his drones and forget what his build is? We're gonna find out. Or all of the above. That's also a good option. So, this is why you put your second overlord at your natural, by the way. Just in case. And yes, that is the right spot. Stop it, chat. It always looks like it's the wrong spot on this map. It's just the map being weird. Yeah, I always think it is too, but it's not. Thank you, Air Master. Just wanted to thank you for helping with all your content to get my shitty no brain toss ass into diamond. Let's, let's check the chart. Yeah. Okay. Everything looks okay so far. A little bit much on the gas. Hopefully that doesn't mean you'll build a lair for no reason. Did we just forget about a third base? Uh -oh. Like, why did you get the gas, though? What is the gas for? You got 260 gas. I don't know why you felt like, I need more gas to not spend. What? You can't... It's not like you get interest or something. I don't... This is what leads to YOLO lairs, okay? This is why... And now, of course, there are two somehow two adepts doing not that much damage besides 28 drones not mining. But instead of building a reasonable amount of Zerglings to not take a bunch of damage to two Adepts, we've got 284 gas after building a lair for no reason, and more Lings on the way. And, oh no. Like, here's the thing. About four minutes ago, we gave up on having a plan. You might be like Winter, but it's only been five minutes. I'm very aware of that. The thing, the thing is, it's just a set of dominoes. Uh, it might split off in different directions, but they all keep falling. It's like, oh, I got attacked. I need a bunch of Zerglings. Oh, he has air units. We need spore crawlers. Oh, I have a bunch of gas because I forgot to pull off gas. I guess we're going to get a lair. Oh, we have a lair. I don't know what to do. Oh, I need a spire. Oh, I don't need a spire. Let's get an infestation pit. Oh, I don't need an infestation, but let's get a hydra den. Oh, what are evo chambers? I don't... It's a great question. Are we going to ask it now, or are we going to ask it after losing all the wings for no reason? Those are the two options. Oh, no. No, here's what we do. We send out the lings for no reason. We're about to be supply blocked. But after the lings die, we have enough money to remember that Evo Chambers exist. But not before. Not before. That would be too hard. Uh, somehow, a bunch of drones dying anyways. Overlord's on the way. Now get those lings out there so we can remember Evo Chambers. You might be like, well, that doesn't make sense. Neither neither those Zerg players being in Platinum. All right. Oh. Now's the time. I guess the Evo Chambers are coming now because it's, it's too hard to think about, like, I have all these Lings and he doesn't have any ground units. Maybe I should check for a third. He's, he's too passive for that. And? Oh, no. It's even worse. 
Uh, no, we need more gas. That's the issue. And once these queens are done killing the hatchery, then we're going to free up a lot of space for creep tumors. Oh, no. <sighs> like, the only... The last remnant of hope that this is not... Like, the last remnant of hope that we're going to get to Diamond, as opposed to being in Platinum forever for unknown reasons, is if the Evo Chambers start before the Langs die. But it will be the final mark of... I have uh, about... Uh, of all the Angry Coaches I've done and uploaded, approximately 30% of them have been Platinum Zergs. Now, you might be like, that doesn't sound like a high percentage, but consider there are three races and a bunch of different leagues... That is a far inordinate percentage. Why? Because Platinum Zerg players have, for the most part, stumbled their way into Platinum oh, because Terran and Protoss service. players either walled off far too hard, stood behind their wall for like 19 minutes, and then when they moved out, the Zerg had a bunch of Banelings and they have no idea what to do. Or, option two, they made a bunch of Zerglings and the Protoss or Terran had no idea, or Zerg, didn't know how to wall off, the Zerglings got in their base, they're like, well, I guess Zerg is Imba, I give up, and they're stuck in gold. But we got to Platinum with absolutely no critical thinking skills, and we're loving it. Evos? No, another Spore Crawler. Why? Because we hate having economy. Well, we lost some Zerglings, not all of them, but now is the time- Oh my god. The mouse accuracy of an actual mouse, like a rodent. And now the Evo Chambers. 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 And that there we go. Fucking hell. That's worse than I thought. Well, you can see the wheels turning. It's just very slow. Once again, like, the EVO upgrades are important. They're not the end of the game or anything. It's just indicative of a complete and utter lack of foresight. There's a whole lot of hindsight, which if you're far enough ahead is good enough. But you're not far enough ahead. Many games many games in Platinum and, and Lower Diamond just end up neither player really figuring out what they want for so long we get into the later game. Looks like this is going to be what, one of those. The Protoss remembering, oh yeah, I need to make ground units, but mixing some Stalkers in because he wants to die to Hydras. And our Zerg player remembering, oh yeah, maybe I should get more than 40 drones and upgrades at some point. Like, if we just skip, you could have just skipped, so, like, between four and six or seven minutes, we could have just skipped that. Just cut it out and skip to seven minutes, and if you did that, this build would have been solid. But we spent all that time trying to predict oracles that weren't even in that location, losing way too many drones to two adepts, building spore crawlers in random locations, micro-wing zerglings, but if we had just skipped that part, we could have been at this exact spot. 152 supply, 2-2 two, two on the way. I'd say around 7 minutes. Eh, maybe 7.30, but still. But, more shit counters less shit as he's learning. He doesn't have any Archons, he's trying to micro with Storm. A classic mistake. Thank you, Kai Gaming, for 4 months. Like, it takes a while, but we remember where we wanted to go. It just, it just takes several minutes. 
The difference between a platinum and a diamond player is it takes less than two minutes to remember, oh yeah, this was my plan. Usually it's around a minute. And then to get to masters, you just remember the plan. Unless you're Florencio, in which case, well. Actually, he has very uh, meticulous plans. It's, it's just, who knows what they are. There comes a point in every Zerg's life where they realize that Immortals are good. It's always interesting to see what they do at that point. Is this when we realize... Let me let me let you in on a secret. Did you know a Spire has the same build time as a Hive? Believe it or not, that means if you start a Spire at the same time as a Hive, they will both finish at the same time. And that way you won't have a Hive and then realize... You don't yes, have any yes, hive yes. tech you want anyway. Just as I deserve. It's it's five fifteen. Use the angry coach command. Use your critical thinking skills. Tear the whole thing apart because both players suck. Like, you got a hive, but now we're thinking about, huh. Oh yeah, we got a hive for plus three armor. I mean plus three attack. I'm sure that's the case. I'm looking forward to the Spire after the Lurker Den finishes, which is a classic tactic when you realize, huh, I guess Lurkers aren't going to be that great. Of all the places to attack this from. Alright, Lurker Den's done. We're going to make Lurkers. You know it doesn't take a Hive to make a Lurker Den, right? You, to get the Lurker upgrade, yes, but you're not getting the Lurker upgrade. All you need is a Hydra Den. Oh my god. Okay. So, the big brain split of units. Which was a good idea until half your units engaged the army and then right click. Where's my spire? No, this is the point. Like, we've had to work up the entire tech tree. And this is one of those, like, it depends. Some people will never learn. But some players, if they played more than three games a week, would remember, huh, last time I was in this position, I needed Broodlords, and I just didn't get the Broodlords in time. And by, like, the 17th game they lose, they'll be like, what if I just got Broodlords quicker? But we have to go through that whole process every game if it's been like two weeks since the last time you played. Lurkers are good units. Like what's the what's the winning strategy here? How are we gonna win the game? Did a pretty good job. Like, people are just, people keep sending in, spending their hard-earned money for me to tell them, if you played, like, more than three games a week, you wouldn't have short-term memory loss, or long-term memory loss. Like, eventually, well, there would be no hope if we didn't end up at Spire. Eventually, we were gonna die or end up at Spire. But there is literally no reason. There was plenty of money and time to get a spire before this, you just didn't. Like, get a spire. That's it. That's the end of line. But the thing is, the thing is, I can yell at you. This is the frustrating part for me, because I can tell you to get a spire all you want, but until you're actually playing more games than that, than like 10% of the time you spend watching this stream, you're still gonna have to go through this process of, oh yeah, Aspire exists every fucking game. Because if you simply, 
Now, tell me, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me you play more than 15 games a week. Because I think that's around the amount where you can actually start learning instead of just maintaining a relative level. I, if you're playing more than 15 games a week, well, you're going to have to work a little harder. If you're not playing 15 games a week, well, it really is showing. This is the classic freeing up supply before Broodlord strategy. Where you just lose everything and then spend all your money rebuilding it right before you get Broodlords. Everybody knows that. A classic tactic. And then, like, like, let's let's try to take the the mental. It's not even a leap. It's like a uh, the mental shuffle forward to. In order to get Broodlords, I need Corruptors. But. I, I doubt we're going to build any Corruptors until that Greater Spire is done, thus delaying the potentially game-winning or game-saving tech by another, like, 30-plus seconds. Oh my god, he did it. He built two whole Corruptors while maxed out right before the Greater Spire is done. But don't worry, those aren't going to be Broodlords for a long while yet. Yeah, the Zerg probably still wins, because the Protoss is going to have just as big of a mental breakdown. He's probably going to end up making Void Rays or some shit. The, the one thing I will give credit on is, n is keeping it together. Not spamming the Select Alarming Hotkey constantly, or just running completely into death. Though there has a whole, been a whole lot of running into death. I will say that. There's been a whole lot of running into death. But we haven't given up yet. Let's look at the units lost. That's closer than I expected. Yeah, yeah, there's like... There's like 20 larva on a base that's not hotkeyed, but does he have the gas to spend it? It's like, look, Winter, he made a mistake. Yeah, but of all the mistakes he's made, that is probably the least consequential one. But thank you for pointing it out, my Twitch chat, Grandmasters. Two Broodlords. Two Broodlords have driven back the entire Protoss army. Two. Imagine if you had four times that many, five minutes quicker. Which not only was possible, but would have still been late. It would have still been late by a wide margin. Like, I'm just telling you, what it would. If you legitimately sent in this replay wondering what you could have done better, then. And you have played more than 15 games a week on a regular basis, then we've got bigger problems. Do you tell me, Skelly, how many games on average do you play a week? You tell me right now. And don't you lie to me. Because I will look it up if I think you're lying. <laughs> I can do that. Less than 10, probably. Just started playing, I don't know, a week or two ago. Oh, had the flu last week. Well, like, essentially, you're, you're remembering, you're rebuilding the tech tree each game. If you don't play enough games, you have to spend too much time and too much stress remembering, oh yeah, this is what I want. Like, there's no substitute. There's nothing I can tell you because you're just going to forget it. Like, if you play a handful of games or you've just been playing a couple weeks, 
then you're just going to forget it. You're going to get into a game, you're going to get four minutes in, you're going to forget everything I said until 15 minutes. And that's it. Like, that's the summary. Uh, there's no sub... You, you, you know what you want, but the road to get there is far too long, and you don't need to cut a new trail every goddamn time if, if at least you maintain it. This is a distinct example of, uh... You can be a Twitch chat GM all you want, be like, well, why doesn't he just get Broodlords? It's like, because he forgot they existed, because he's stressed the fuck out right now. So... It's a uh, B minus. Because you know what you wanted. You just did everything you could to avoid getting it. Classic. We got Singularity up next. Everything you did was pretty much right. It was just many minutes late. Which will get you killed, or get you for, far behind for no reason. Singularity, are you the? You're, you said you're the Zerg. We get a diamond Zerg against Terran now. That's me. I'm the Zerg. I named myself Emperor. Okay. Yep. Versus Battle Mac. Pretty brutal loss to tanks after being ahead. Learning to add vipers. Uh, let's see. Eh, let's see. Can you tell the lineup? After this is Illuminati with a Y, which is you. Who is not subbed, but sending in a replay, so that always bodes well. I'm not saying that's anything. I'm just saying that usually means... You've not, you've not watched my... We'll see. And then Uninspire sent in 10 bucks, which is two-thirds of the price, so we'll do two-thirds of the replay. Unless it's like 50 minutes, in which case we're just gonna go ahead and fuck off. Like, oh, okay. You are now in my Thank you, service. Uninspire. That doesn't make up for it, by the way. Good try, though. Our forces are under attack. Okay, so this is why you send your overlord to this location instead of here. This also means he's not making a reaper. You just send it to the natural, so that way it doesn't get sniped off. No, no, high ground, high ground. Like you could have, you could have saved that if you had sent it to the right spot. It didn't need it. That overlord does not need to die. Well, that's a great start. Like you just send your overlord here, and then if he has a reaper, you send it in to see if he's building a reactor or getting a command center or all that. And he's not, by the way. There's some cheesy shit right here. But instead, and also the fact that he has two marines this early is suspicious. Also, you forgot zergling speed. Like, for 30 seconds. He's doing a build that doesn't make any sense. He's doing a cyclone upgrade rush into tanks and widow mines. This is diamond three, right? They only do that to deny scouting? I mean, that's the main point, yeah. Uh, spore crawlers, like, you didn't see anything, but that's fine. Like, okay, but if he kills your overlord, alarm bells. Yes, like, you should have gone over. I wish I was a plat -er. What are you, I not? A -er. Oh. Wait, let me look at that replay reel. We're gonna criticize his. Oh, he's a diamond Terran. Fuck it. <sighs> of course. Those are the only options. Like, look at the supply. You 
so it's fine. Whatever. Like, at this level, you should wor you worried about yourself. And the Evo chambers are very late, but you're going to remember them in the next... Well, let, let's see. Now. Now. Mm. Oh, and... And... Oh my god, come on. Now. What? What? The most important part of this, all of the rest could have been held off. Like the gases, the lair, the only important part was the Evo Chambers. You did everything but the most important part of like the next phase of your production. Okay. If at any point in the game, you're, you're getting attacked, like the first thing that attacks you is a turret. And you lose that game, you should be ashamed. I'm not counting the first Marines. If this is what, if he's attacking, if this is his first attack. Shame. Shame. Okay, upgrades. Upgrades. Upgrades now. Like you, you, uh, now, not later. You can't just forget them. Like I think Tonight is really solidifying that for people who actually seem to have watched any of where the fuck are you going? Who have watched and have like a basic idea of how they're supposed to play? Upgrades. Like, it matters. Multiple minutes on up. What the fuck? Evo's at five minutes. Evo's at whenever you have hundreds of gas and hundreds of minerals for no reason. But yeah, five minutes, sure. Throw it out there, whatever. Fuck it. Like, they are not just late. It's like, we just skipped it and came back the next day. Okay, alright. Wrong, wrong, maybe, finally, what the fuck? You're not the hard AI. Because that probably beat you. But. It's like now I need to get everything. You have 58 drones. Which means you can solidly do one build. Not four. But you have less drones now. Also you had to expect that at some point. He would indeed attack you. By the way. Here's the thing, this is all he has. Which is actually super sad. By the way, this is not Battle Mech. This is a guy who made a bunch of Cyclones. There's a difference. Mineral field depleted. And by that I mean like, it's super late and he's barely battling. Ah yes, you made the Zerglings. What are the Zerglings for? Zerglings aren't bad against Cyclones, but like, are you gonna upgrade Zerglings? Are you gonna... Gonna lose them to Widow Mines? Or not, to trap the Cyclones? Ah, yes. Okay. No, stop. Stop. Go. No. Stop it. Why? You have, like, a tech tree larger than the one in fucking Avatar. And you're like, no, 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 we can, we can kill him. He's a two base turtle back Terran player. And you're like, no, 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 that tank on the high ground, we got it. Now here's the beauty of it. You almost did. How is there a Zergling in the main? How did that happen? I don't You are up by 50 supply. You're still at only 55 ground. Oh, okay, 62. Fine. Let's say that's in game time. Legend has it. Game time never has had more than that. So, fine. We're getting melee attack upgrades because we all know these units aren't going to live very long, anyways. I guess. Four vipers. We just got the the spire and the hydrodon are 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 backup tech. The hilarious thing? Uh, hilarious is a little bit strong. 
the thing is, uh, you can almost afford it. Almost. I like the adrenal glands, like your zerglings are going to survive for more than four seconds. Or exist. Good thing he got that cyclone, though. <laughs> that was quite a yank. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say some words and just sound them out with me. Uh, infestors. In infester. How does that sound? I don't know. I... Infestors. You might be like, but but. Rainer makes vipers. Yeah, because Rainer has 500 APM. You have two fifths of that, though you act like you have one tenth. Infester. It'll force you to slow down because you're obviously not being very useful here. Oh my god. Brood Lords. Brood Lords. There you go, finally. Oh, well, and then we ruined it by losing two of the Vipers. Also, like, 75 drones, not 60. You have the same problem as the... This is just advanced Platinum there. It's like, well, I kind of know what I want, but it's going to take me losing a fuck ton of units to get it. But at least I'll get it before I lose all of them. All right, who wants to take bets on whether or not there will be any money and or corruptors for Broodlords by the time the Greater Spire finishes? Might I point out that the current supply is 192 to 100. The army supply... You have a 100 army supply lead. 100! At this point, I think you could just A-move and win the game. Like, if you just don't control your units and you A-click... What is this? What the fuck is that?! No, literally, like, if you A-click right now, he has... Eh, four tanks is a bit much. He had less before. How long has he had those tanks? If you had A-clicked before sitting in sensor tower range for, like, a minute for no reason... Then maybe. But now with, like, four tanks, that's gonna be tough. Like, if you had just done it when you showed up, instead of waiting for, like, 45 seconds... But no... Oh my... I like how that's like, alright, well, whatever, close enough. Mm. So, now this is... This... I feel like... If I could somehow force this on a Zerg player, every Zerg player, including myself, would go up about 100 to 200 MMR over the course of, like, 20, 30 games if they simply weren't allowed to attack while they had a Greater Spire building. Like, if, like, for some reason your units just couldn't attack, like, you couldn't go over your side of the map. You got a Greater Spire building. Nope. Just... Chill the fuck out. <laughs> you, you're not allowed to attack with more than 10 roaches. And I, I'm pretty sure every Zerg across the board, at least 100 more MMR. Well, I mean, he started it. Did you see that? He attacked first. He shot first. Look. Look. Did you see what he did with those Hellions? Yeah, look. He started it. Well, I guess we gotta go. I guess we gotta go. There's no other option. Those are actually some pretty great abducts. And then you tried to micro. 
I mean, it still was, I would, it's a barely win. I mean, you microed, which kind of fucked it up, but. And the Greater Spire finished, which means it's perfect time for a tech switch into 26 more roaches. And of course, we're getting plus three melee attack for all those incredibly cost-effective Zerglings. All you had to do was not build 26 more roaches. It wasn't even what... Here, here's the, the hard part. It's like, it's not so much what you didn't do. It's what you did do. All you had to do was, was less. You, you had to stop doing things. But now you see the Greater Spire like, huh. By the way, 60 drones is not enough. It might end up being okay, but, like, let's look at the units lost tab. Oh, we weren't spending enough. That's fair. I, I, you're right. You're right. I agree. You you weren't wasting enough of your gas with just roaches. So let's, uh, let's, let's fix that um, by throwing some ravagers in the meat grinder. That was nice of you to bring those tanks into range of your, your units. Did you just kill your own vipers with Karospao? Like, what do you want from me here? You just gave me 15 bucks to watch you impale yourself on siege tanks over and over? Like, what do you want? What am I supposed to do here? Here's what I have for you. Don't do that. Like, by the third time, at least for a split second, be like, huh, is there anything else I could potentially do besides throwing all of these units away? But you didn't. You saw he was building Vikings, right? So you might want, like, more than zero Corruptors? Oh, you do have more than zero. You got, you got five. Which is just barely not enough. I like how the whole army has to come... Oh, well, we lost all the Broodlords. Thus, Winter proven wrong. Therefore, Broodlords, not good. Might I also point out, now this is a very small point, you have 25 overlords. Each overlord is worth 8 supply. You have 200 supply in just overlords. Very small point. You have plus 3 melee attack, plus 2 ranged attack, and plus 1 carapace. So that is the reverse order of which your upgrade should be in. Like, if you could just stop, like, just stop, if you, if you had walked away from your computer three minutes ago and then just come back after having a nice cold glass of fuck off, then you would have been in a better position. You literally would have been better off going AFK for three minutes. But you couldn't manage it. Yeah, you got, you got almost as much APM as I do. And, uh, well, your, your IQ is obviously closer to your upgrades than, than your APM. Everybody knows once you start a fight against a mech Terran, it's going to end one way or the other. You're not allowed to retreat. No, like... I am legitimately proposing the next time you lose a fight against siege tanks, max out your army and then go F AFK for one minute. Literally get up and walk away from your computer for one full minute and then come back and finish the game. No, I'm not joking. You're up against a mech Terran. You're like, this is a turtle mech Terran and you knew that. Get up, away from your computer, go get, I don't know, 
anything else for one full minute and then come back. I'll be like, I couldn't do that in Diamond. Oh, you could probably afford three or... In this game, you probably could have done three or four minutes. This is the first time he's been ahead on supply, by the way. Like, and it's not his doing. You've lost 14,000 more resources. I like that. Like, did, you saw it. You saw it. He attacked my broodlings. He, he attacked my broodlords with the Vikings. Therefore, I had to send every single unit into the meat grinder. There was no choice. He attacked me. Everybody saw it. Walk away. Get up. Get off. And, and... And then maybe you'll think about your 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 all the what do you mean yeah gg this is a turtle mech terran there's like a 70 percent chance he wouldn't even move out and attack you like you could you could throw away two or three more armies before this game ends yeah gg mr i've never gone above 62 drones in my life i don't believe you when you say you usually go to 70. You literally impaled yourself with siege tanks. Like, this is a mech Terran. He attacked you one time this game. Once. And you crushed him. So, then you attacked him 12 more times until you crushed yourself. And then gave up. That was, that, that was this game. All you needed to do was was not like the hard just walk away all right is spreading creep in acceptable form no literally get up from your computer go sit stand look at a corner just stand up look at the corner of whatever room you're in stare at it and say i will not attack into siege tanks and repeat that 10 times and then come back to your come back to your computer no you don't get to sit there and afk by looking at the screen and then get, get like a, a whiteboard or something, it's 2019, and write, I will not attack into siege tanks four times, and then come back to your fucking computer after your homework's done. It's, uh, C. Minus. I would have expected better from a platinum. Thankfully, not everybody plays Turtle Mech, just about 60% of Terrans at that letter level. Like, you're not getting any further with that mindset. Or lack of. We've got Illuminati next. There's a whole lot of, uh, what do, what do you want from me replays tonight? Which is pretty synonymous with like, oh, you know how to play. You just only played four games this season and you forgot. So I guess I'll take your money. All right. What are you supposed to do when the enemy Terran turtles with only tanks? You get... 75 drones, you get 12 broodlords, 12 corruptors, and 12 brain cells. You put them all together at the same time, and you you slowly work your way across the map. Maybe even throw a few vipers in if you're feeling spicy. 
But what you don't do is lose your entire ground army, build three brood lords, build another ground army, get attacked because you only have three brood lords, and then throw away your whole army. We have a Diamond Terran versus Protoss. So I'm excited to see. Uh, I, well, I'm hoping we'll get some balance complaints and uh, comments about the patch while using units and strategies that will be completely unaffected by the patch. And if you haven't seen the patch information yet, go check out the videos on my channel. And then prepare to complain. Very important. This is a Diamond Terran, so that comes built in. Okay. There's a whole lot of camera stuff. We're fine for now. I'm sensing a bit of a try-hard vibe here. That can be fine if we can slow it down a bit when we need to. Okay. Scouting for proxies. So, I'm just saying for, for the benefit of everyone, not necessarily this player, what I'm noticing. Very diligent in looking for information. The build seems to be very mapped out. Scouting, scouring, I would say, for proxies. Despite seeing he already expanded, I mean, technically he didn't have a second pylon, but he wasn't going to at that time. But it's it's a good habit to be in. So, so far, so okay. All right, that's a Stargate. Yep, we click on it. We see a Stargate. That's good. And then that's a gateway. Good scouting. I mean, that's the best you can hope for with a Reaper. Complete. A little bit late on the orbital. That's fine. He had two Stalkers. We gonna get a bunker? Gonna get a bunker though. Like, and then it all falls apart because those Stalkers are gonna show up before the bunker. Like, if you're gonna commit the Reaper, you gotta get a bunker. You didn't get a bunker, and now the whole fucking plan is gonna fall apart because two Stalkers show up, and there aren't enough Marines. Away it goes. Uh, it was nice knowing you, plan. That needs to be a Cyclone, by the way. Because you saw he was going Stargate. He just happened to have two Stalkers. The Cyclone is for the Stargate units. I guess the Viking can be too. But not having a Cyclone means, well, the Oracle's going to do some damage. We still kill it anyways. I guess the Viking's fine. Why Depot's there? Why not? Whatever. You know what? I'm still... It, it's it's okay. I don't mind it. They look pretty cool there. Do they not? Raven? Alright. Great scan. Are we gonna add production? Or a third? Let's see if there was a comment with this one before we go any further. How to win TVP. Okay. So you might be like, when's a good time to attack? You saw his robo was just now finishing. He's adding on gates. You know what? The wow, we're actually talking about the opponent. That's crazy. Congratulations. Does he have a third? Probably. If he has a third, guess what? If he's also teching up again, he doesn't have very many units. Now... 
is the time you attack. He has six stalkers without blink. You have three tanks and are about to have a raven with a viking and a bunch of marines. Now. The answer is now. Because you haven't really been building SCVs very consistently, which is why the economy sucks. If you sit in your base, he's just going to have three bases, and you are not, so that means you won't have three bases. Now, as soon as that raven finishes is when? Not getting a third and then eventually building up for- no, now. Now. It's too late. It's, the time has now passed. Far, far too late. That was your timing. When you go for a 1-1-1, if you want to attack the Protoss, it is when he's getting his third. If you don't scout or, or think about the third base until it's been done for two minutes, well, probably not two, maybe a minute, then it's too late now. You have missed your entire timing. This doesn't necessarily mean you've lost the game, but if you're not going to build SCVs and be at somehow 39 SCVs, you only lost, you lost three total. You could have easily been at 50 SCVs. If you're, if you're not going to build SCVs, you need to be attacking. If you're both not going to attack and not build SCVs consistently, guess what's going to happen? He's going to have a bigger army. He's going to have a better economy. He's going to have more units. It's simple math. Let's just, I, I actually, that's the second side of this. Let's see how many SCVs you missed. Let's figure it out. So SCVs take 12 seconds to build. So you missed one. Okay, now we're not building them. You're missing, you're only building one. So you missed two. Oh, we'll save two. We're doing pretty good building now. And... Three and four. Five and six. It's not like you don't have money. You're just not building them. Seven and eight. Nine and ten. You missed ten SCVs. How many SCVs down are you? Twenty-three. You probably missed some more earlier. You lost some. But also, he's been on three bases, and you never scouted for it. So this... Wait, how long is this game? I'm actually going to check now. Yeah, that seems about right. What's going to happen is either he's going to attack and fail because you have enough units, or you're going to attack and not have nearly enough units because everything was late. Like, you can't add on the engineering bay as an afterthought. You, you can't... Your, your barracks being added and then not attacking with these tanks. Like, this, this is, uh... I know Protoss is scary. Okay. Obviously. May I remember may I remind you? Protoss very scary. Zerg also scary. But sometimes you actually do have to attack your opponent, especially if you're not focused entirely on production. Thank you casually explain. Add on complete. Mineral field. You had everything for, like, everything for the build lined up to do a tank timing. And now, now it doesn't. So he's just gonna come and kill you, right? Like, because he just built more shit. I like how diligent, like, you scoured the entire fucking map early. Like, like the SCV did a whole world tour. And then you just gave up. It's like, I don't need to know when a third base is. I have my own problems. Which is... Ready for 
I don't know what you expect to see here. It's not a bad response. The SCV is to scout for bases. Oh, that's worse. Uh, that makes so much sense, though. I thought you were scouting for maybe hidden tech because you didn't see a second pylon early. I didn't realize you were scouting for hidden bases after already scouting his second nexus. Now the rest makes more sense. I thought you were being mildly smart to start, but... Thank you for proving me wrong. Okay, for third and you scouted before the Reaper came out. If he has a third or fourth base before his cyber core is done, that's not a thing. It doesn't it's not a thing. It's simply not a thing. It it it's maybe scout for a third base like by the five minute mark, not by the two minute mark. In the long run. What do you mean in the long run? You set the SCV home! What in the fucking long run? It ran until three minutes, and then it went home! What long run? It's not like you get permanent vision! I'm stupid. Wait, we made it! We got there, everyone! We finally got there! There's a DT killing your upgrade. There's a DT killing your engineering bait getting plus two. Oh no. Despite all this... Here's what you need to do. Here's the pro tip. Next time when you scout with that SCV, you just build a depot at each base location. And just queue them all up. Right at the start. <laughs> And that way, he can never expand. Okay, so the whole army's there. You can see it. Okay. I, I appreciate all the hotkeys here, despite the lack of... Uh, you might actually win this well. Where, where's the units? Where are the units? By the way, you tapped out while you were ahead on supply. Yeah, he has plenty in the bank. Whatever. Have you never seen Liberators kill things? Ask any Diamond Protoss here. They might not have a brain, but they can recall all the times they've run into Liberators and suddenly their, all of their units died because they misunderestimated them. I remember him killing my whole army. Well, you need to stop remembering things that don't exist, because the things that do are already big enough problems. Because at no point did he kill your army, you just left the fucking game. That's it. You just, you're just like, well, a storm's too scary. <sighs> Please do.
Like, I wish it would be, there's a reason I up the price from 10 to 15 bucks is because too much of the time, it's not even entertaining. It's like, oh, another Terran player who played like a bitch and then gave up. It's like, oh, haven't seen this story 14 times. Maybe Disney can reboot this one with more original stuff in Legacy of the Void. But guess what? We've all been here before. I've seen 54 of these replays in the last two months, and uh, that's a C, because uh, I believe you. You're diamond. Congratulations. Good luck. There you go, buddy. I did it, Tom. Thank you, T. Parker. I do like money. Yes. There's a there's a middle ground. Like, I, or the macro was pretty good. The build wasn't terrible. The upgrades were actually decent. But a combination of not actually scouting for relevant information, um, not having any thought process to what will actually win the game, as well as simultaneously being a bitch, is not going to get you much further. Like, pick, pick at least one of the three to work on. Thank you, angry coach. We've got one from Uninspire, who is also a Diamond Terran. I'm sure this will... It's also a Diamond TVP. An absolute clown fiesta where I make every wrong decision and you can tear the whole thing apart because both players suck. We'll see. Yeah, Clown Fiesta is one of my favorite terms. I will say it. Like, it's one of the few things that still feels kind of edgy without actually being somewhat needlessly offensive or boring. Or just four-letter words rearranged. I'm sure we can ruin that, guys. So the di the diamond Protoss named Master Glad you enjoy Not leaving space for an add-on. He's about to be cannon rushed. Is it a Propius rush? Okay, so first, I want to point out, I just want to look at the everyone cam. You're right! Oh. All right, then. If he just loses the probe, he can't even cannon rush, so... He does, like, at this point, it's not known that it's a cannon rush. 
Hello there. Did, 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 did that not give you a Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. No, no, no. It's a disaster. No, no. Attack. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. If you had just attacked the cannon with the marine, it would have died by the time it finished between the marine and the SCVs, but you didn't. And now there's a problem. Like, if you would just fucking attack the goddamn cannon instead of not doing that. Okay, there you go. Ta-da, don't attack the gateway, attack the pylons. The py pylons are the powerhouse of the Protoss. I, okay, we're just getting. I, I can respect someone who wants to just get back to normalcy. Oh. Some people. Uh, here's the thing Cannon Rush is a mental state. Some people, once they've been Cannon Rush, they never recover. No matter what, like, maybe you wanted to go for a factory. Maybe you wanted to go for a 111. Well, that's out the fucking window. Doesn't like you killed the cannons, but you'll never forget them. I don't know if that's what he wanted to do, but... <laughs> you know... <laughs> Hello there. I don't know where the Marines are going in the first place, but like... I mean... This guy is full Protoss. No, don't cancel. What? Why? Our SCVs are under attack. Why did you cancel? Uh, but like, you can just kill the zealots. Well, now there's a problem. Like, oh, we finally opened up the tech book and figured out what the fuck a factory is. Okay, at this point, why do you, like, why are you even down the ramp? What do you think, he's gonna have less units magically? Like, why are you down here? What's going on? Wait, do you have, did you get stim or did you cancel for concussive shells? Big brain. Pretty sure that bunker blocks the landing zone. Nah, I think it's fine. Oh, well, you don't, like, it's like, oh my god. Oh, I don't know how he got all those units. Oh my, three stalkers, how crazy. Absolute madman. Last time I saw him, he only had two stalkers. So now you just kind of trickled down everything. Trickle down failure. All you had to do was like, have the foresight that maybe, just maybe, he would have more units as time goes on. Oh. Oh my God, that bunker placement. Mediocre. All right, and eventually we'll discover the long-lost starport tech. I, I like how it's like, well, he, he definitely won't have anything more after all that. Oh my god. Look at all those stalkers. You crazy devil. How did you do that? Well, we're just kind of going to win anyways. And then he shot at his own stalker. There's desertion in the ranks. Yeah, good thing stalkers suck. Otherwise, this would be super dangerous. And eventually, it's always DTs. I don't know that. 
now he actually made good units, so this this is where it gets difficult. He made Immortals and Archons with a War Prism. He's gotten very serious now. What What is the armory for? Oh, you do have plus one weapons. Um, you saw him go that direction with his units. What do you think the likelihood you're about to fly over his army is? Don't worry about it. You can literally see him. There's a prism right there. Hey, your base is under attack, man. So at what point do we mash on the select all army hockey? Bringing the medevac back to do nothing or die. Wait for it. Oh, okay. Micro gods. Eventually, at some point, you actually have to kill those. You well, like you. This you've somehow. Here's what you've done. You've taken the mountain of failure. Okay. So there's fail. Uh, here's what's happened. Um, you've taken. This is the mountain of. This is Fail Mountain, all right? But I'll give you credit. Yes, I'll yes, I'll give yes. you credit. Just yep. as I deserve. <laughs> That's annoying. You blew up the mountain. All right, now you got some little, little Fail Rocks here. And then you just put them on your Fail Belt, and they just... Oh, one by one. And then, and then he's over here at the end, Mr. Protoss Boy. I don't even know how to do the Protoss logo now when you put me on the spot. Protoss, he's like, oh, yes, thank you. And then he eats them up and then nom 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 nom. Um, so that was nice of you. You really smoothed out the whole, uh, you know, that's actually closer to the Protoss logo than I was the first time. Um, you, instead of just one big fail, you, you smoothed it out to be over a extended period of time. So I'll give you, like, you put a lot of work into making this game take as long as it does. Don't worry, that one medevac counterattack that could have saved your ass at home will definitely save it by doing damage on the other side, I'm sure. By the time you look at that meta, oh. Your SCVs are getting wrecked. You know, you said this game was a clown fiesta, but you're the only clown here. So it's more like a clown stripper show where he's watching you dance and, and laughing. Like, maybe if you dance well, I'll give you some ladder points at the end. Probably not, though. This is the C team. Like, look at the supply. And the banks. Like. <laughs> I do not want a clown stripper. Well. That's too bad. <laughs> I think the stripper is the winner in those transactions. Okay, this is. I'll be honest. Especially considering all the factors um, between the gameplay, uh, the gameplay, and uh, genetics, this is more like an elephant in a circus. Where definitely remembers how terrible Protoss is without being able to do anything about it. Also, doesn't get paid in ladder points. What a beautiful drop. Okay, so the Protoss has forgot to build any units for a while, which is what's making this... You know what? I, 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 I was wrong. It's a beautiful dance. The fiesta has begun. Where's my party music? Party music.
etc. and so on and so forth. It's time to da 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 duel. I hope this is amusing for you all because I had zero fun playing this. This part wasn't fun. This part where you kill all the probes, that's not fun. Hey, your base is under attack. What is happening? This is somehow a close game. The upgrades are pretty good. That might actually save the game here. Wait, what? Why are there four bases now? How did this happen? Oh my god. And then suddenly there's an army, but not quite enough of it. What a mess. Now there are mortals. Is he warping in DTs over there? What am I watching? Oh, Scott. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, God. No. Oh. 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 Did you win? Oh, I guess you get the ladder points after all. Wait, it's not over yet. Wait, okay, it's pretty over. What is he gonna recall? Nothing. <laughs> Oh, immortals. Whoa! Whoa! Get him! Red card! Red! Get him out! Get him out! That's probably the only time he's typed GG all week. I can explain. It was my nose getting in the way. No, 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 no. That's an offensive GG. That's not a, like, I'm leaving the game GG. For those who don't know. Wait. How much longer is there? Oh, I was really hoping the DT would somehow kill him. At this point, I'm no longer even close to being on his side. I'm in a different zip code. Guys, I can't explain. my brother was playing yeah you never would have won this game that's fair but your brother gets a uh, a C plus because he didn't leave the game so early like that is definitely a game you can just at some point I wouldn't have even blame for leaving but eventually got upgrades and all that after trickling down dozens of supply for no reason to die. Yeah, tell your brother he did pretty well besides being a dick. Tell, tell your bro that. <sighs> well, that was at least different. Which is uh, always welcome. Except when it's not for Angry Coach. What? Wrong? No. And then we got C Dodo, Plat Random Player. Are you the are you the Zerg in this? Are you the platinum Zerg? If you play co-op on Brutal, bad teammate. What difficulty is it on ladder? Like Gold League or Plat?
There's only one way to find out. Of course it's Platinum Zerg against Terran. Here we go again. Like, not comparable? I mean, if you actually play ladder, probably at least gold. But once again, there's only one way to find out. All right. One moment, guys. We got a breaking news broadcast. Uh, if you guys can pause ad block just in case, I'll be right back. One moment. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Winter, and I'm here to talk to you about Twitch Prime. Did you know, with Twitch Prime, you can connect your Amazon Prime account to Twitch and get a bunch of exciting benefits. You can get League of Legends loot boxes. You can get Call of Duty 2018, I think. 20, 2019? I don't know what we're on now. Uh, you can get some skins or some shit. People still play that? I assume so. Though probably none of them are watching right now. Uh, because they're on their Xbox or their refrigerator. There's also, of course, you can get Path of Exile bullshit, you got Warface, you got... There's these weeb RPGs. If you go to twitch.tv slash prime. I don't even know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna read. I don't, I've, I just learned how to read. It's very exciting. Um, we got, what is that? The En Masse Action RPG Pack with... I don't, it doesn't even say the names of the games. That's how my, oh, Terra and Closers. Um, and the pack is two things, which is a pretty small pack, but I guess we can technically call it anyways. With Twitch Prime, did you know as well, you can subscribe to a channel of your choice for free, for free. And uh, if you don't subscribe right now, as soon as possible, it's essentially like losing money. So, so don't lose money. Subscribe today as soon as possible. Get that money. Uh, make the difference today for free. Thank you, and have an amazing day. Thank you guys for sticking around. Oh, you are now in my service. Thank you, Phil Hero, for the sub, as well as Solo Aviator. Thank you guys. So this is a Platinum Zerg. Which of these problems, well, and also a random player, so probably exacerbated. But which of these problems do you think is going to be most prevalent? I'll be right back one moment.
Thank you, Dead Bomb, for 23 months as well. Yeah, Tech Trees are some. I was a Diamond Zerg when Wings of Liberty launched, if that means anything. Yeah, it does, actually. That means you're much less likely to have a clean slate with which to create good habits and instead probably have some bad ones that you're revisiting. So, uh... Like a recovering alcoholic. That's most Platinum Zergs. We'll see. Or a not-so-recovering. We'll find out. <laughs> But I might recommend, I have dozens upon dozens of hours of Platinum Zerg coaching. Because so goddamn many of them just don't know what the issue is, even though they're all the same. Maybe not dozens of hours, maybe a dozen hours. And those are just the ones that made it to YouTube. For every one angry coach on YouTube, there's five to ten more that didn't. For Bronze League Heroes, for everyone that makes it to YouTube, about 50 to 100 were sent in. And uh, I, I casted two or three, because we have a whole process for that. But uh, Diamond Zerg again. I mean, Platinum Zerg, I just said it. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Speed. Six lanes. We're fine. Oh, Thank you, Mac. For three months. Reaper dies or ran away. I don't know. Wait, did it die? Nope. Who cares? 500 minerals, but I will give you... Okay. I'll give you a tiny bit of leeway, because he didn't have an expansion, and that is suspicious. Wrong. You had every opportunity... Like, this was the perfect opportunity to be like, I'm gonna get more queens. But instead, you didn't get more queens. You're getting a baneling nest, which isn't a bad idea, but you know what's the best idea? Is more queen! More goddamn queens! Why does nobody think of the queens? Uh, each queen is worth at least half a dozen zerglings. Each queen is worth... Well, it's the same amount of minerals, and they don't cause larva. Brenda! She may be experienced. She may be seasoned. But she is not obsolete. If, like, your queens were late, you could have just built more queens. You would have had four queens by now. I don't care about the banelings. That's three hellbats. Like, who has, who builds three hellbats? This guy. Four queens could easily have dealt with this. Where are the rest of the queens? You know? Before we go any further, I'm going to give you credit. Even though this is where bad habit... You've come to me at a good time. Okay, I rarely say this. I usually just say, oh, you wanted me to read the production tab for you because you can't look at your own replays for some reason. But you've come to me at a good time. Because a lot of players... Like, that was mostly the correct response. It was slow and unwieldy, but it was the right response. And now this is the right move. You got too much gas early. A general rule is 15 to 20 drones is your first gas, like for speed. And then your next gas is second gas at 30 drones, and then gas is 3 and 4 at 40, which is pretty much where you're at. Close enough. And now we've got another queen in production, a lair. I don't mind the overlord speed, even though it's not really necessary and doesn't really do anything at this timing. And two evo chambers as well as a solid drone count. 
Now, I want to re like this is cor this is good. Two evos at five minutes, decent third base timing, additional queens, not a ridiculously quick layer for no reason, but a, a, a decently timed one. And not, like, the Bainley Nest is fine, but it is not the only counter. Like, good. You're don't, not spending your money. Didn't build enough queens earlier. But this is the right path. You just gotta walk faster. And there's a reason I stopped it there, because I had a feeling you were going to ruin it. And you have. Uh, congratulations. No, you do not need three spine crawlers. Um, you do not. If they get to the point where those spine crawlers are effective, you've already fucked up. Uh, and this is the problem. Because if you focus too much on countering what already happened, you're not worrying about what's happening next. For example, a liberator. Still? Not the end of the world. Twelve more drones. Like, even despite that... Even despite the uh, off-center response. Three more quick... Okay. 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 All right. You, you don't have to do the full, like, world tour, but... He's going mech. You got it. Oh, we got 50 drones? Not enough. Yeah, that production tab is not good. You could go for a Roach Horn. Hydroling Bane is okay, but if you throw away the Lings and Banes, it's not ideal. You know... 70 drones, 4 bases, creep spread, about as good as can be expected. Some extra... Uh, the spores are... Eh, uh, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, especially if he's still on 2 bases. You need to figure out if he has a 3rd base. I do, like, do anything besides stare at your overseer that whole time. It doesn't matter now, but there will be a time when, like, he's running Hellions by and you're staring at your overseer. Also, remember a Spire exists before the Hive finishes, not after. Swarm forces under attack. Drones under attack. Two two Hydras are fine. Swarm. This is actually a good Swarm army. Forces under attack. Oh, don't don't kill your own base. Okay, so here's what I, here's what I need you to do. Build units. Thirty-seven larvae, two thousand eight hundred and eighty-three minerals, one thousand five hundred and eleven gas. Oh my god. You actually got 3-3? Three, three, started a greater spire. The drones are a little greedy. You didn't get any corruptors. That's what we're missing here. Like, you just need... This is the advanced version of the Oh yeah, I want brood lords. It's, it's much quicker than most of the other replays we've seen, but the Greater Spire will finish and be like, Oh, yeah! That's what I wanted. Or we're going to make 15 Hydras and forget about the Greater Spire entirely. That, that also works. That, that's fine. Evolution. Build corrupt, like get broodlords. If you're going broodlords, get broodlords. Oh, 
Did you just neural parasite? Okay, so that wasn't the most incredible and faster control. You can't fungal while burrowed. That was for one, for like part of a patch you could do that. They nerfed it, by the way, in case you didn't realize yet. You haven't been able to do that for quite a while. I thought I fungled. At least Neural Parasite the Raven. Okay. No, no. Of all the things you could have done, Spellcaster was. This is why I was concerned about Infestors and Vipers. Because I know, from personal experience and from my observation, that these units, while seemingly similar, have very different roles. Okay. So if you're trying to control both at the same time, it's very likely both will suffer. And we see here neural parasites on Hellions and abducts on Vikings when we're getting shelled and, and blasted by tanks, battlecruisers, and Thors, which are obviously a little more dangerous. There we go. A little better. The neural is actually great. But like we finally found some good tar. There you go. All it took See, here was the key point. You lost all your vipers, so now you could actually focus on what the fuck you were doing. No, 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 like, oh, just re neural them. Oh my god. Just re neural them and kill his planetary. Jesus. Uh, I, I, I did, that was pretty good. But, like. I mean. <laughs> It left something to be desired. Like, at some point, we'll remember we got double spire. Like, uh, like, oh, there we go. Unfortunately, you lost, like, a fuck ton of your gas beforehand. Does he actually have those bases? No, that's actually just a random ass sensor tower. Which is pretty great. Um. Ooh. Oh, nice burrow. Nice burrow. Big brain. Unfortunately, also the queen burrowed, but... No! If you try to neural, you're going to lose everything. Jesus Christ. All right, Zergs, take notes. This is when you build Broodlords. And then you have to steal the Terran units because they're so good. No, no, fungal or something, like anything. Do anything, do something. Do something. I mean... <laughs> A minus. The focus on upgrades and on refilling the drones was important. There were some hiccups. But as long as you don't give in like us... Because it can go two, for two different ways. You can be like, oh, Hellbats and Liberators are dangerous. I'm like, I need to get more Spores and Spines out faster. Or you could say, I need to get more Queens and I'll be fine. Um, But at least for Zerg, yeah, that was, that was actually better and faster control than most Master players. I know, because it's better than mine. This is why I don't build Infestors. <laughs> Not really. Nice shirt, fam. It looks soft. That's what your mom said, too. Mm, the tech tree was actually a tree. You guys were wrong. Did we just do four hours straight of Angry Coach? Just about.